Thank you for tuning in to another episode of InRange. I'm coming to you today from Lincoln, New Mexico, in front of the Torreon. This particular Torreon was built in 1850, but it's an excellent example of the Spanish colonial area Presidio protections. If you think of a Presidio in the Spanish colonial time as being the equivalent of a modern day Ford operating base, you get the idea. This was your last place of resort. If everything failed, this is where you and your community would go into and hold off against the opposing forces. This 1850s built Torreon was designed for the entire town of Lincoln to take hold, barricade the door and protect themselves against renegade, renegade Apaches should they get attacked. Let me walk you through it and show you why this is such an incredible defensive position and why the people of Lincoln, even up until the 1880s, 1890s, considered it something of value. It was used during the Lincoln County War by the Murphy Dolan clan for sharpshooters against the regulators, but that's a different discussion. Let's go take a look. So right off the bat, from the outside, I'm gonna show you that this is actually three layers. There are firing holes here, firing holes there, and you can actually go to the top and fire from above as well. So this, along with all of your people come in here and barricade the door, you've got multiple positions to provide a 360 degree arc of fire against anything coming in at you. Let's go inside. So once you're here, you can see this is a short door. This isn't because people were short at the time, it made it a more defensible position. To come into a structure like this, you had to bow down to get in. And if someone was breaking through the door, that made them less able to defend themselves. And that's the reason doors like this are short in some of these defensive positions. Let's go ahead and go inside. All right, so this wasn't meant to be a short-term stay. If it needed to be, it could be a long-term stay. You can see that there's a hearth behind me here if you need to have fire or even cook some food. If you had that door barricaded and you had no choice but to stay in here for a while, you could sustain yourself for a while as long as supplies were here. We have a table and a place to sit and relax if such a thing is possible in such an environment. With that said, as I said, this is the first floor of three and there are firing positions scattered throughout the Torreon. Here's one firing position. And then as we go around, there's one to my left and then there are others even to my right and etc. This allows you to provide a 360 degree arc of fire. And that's just from the ground floor. And of course, you're also defending the door to make sure no one comes in. Let's go up the stairs or the steps or the ladder and see what floor two looks like. All right, so we're here on the second floor of the Torreon. Imagine all of your friends or neighbors or even Spanish colonial conquistadors taking up this position to defend yourself against an oncoming assault. Each one of these holes is a firing position. You bring your rifle up, stick it through, and you've got a fairly good arc of fire. But each one of these holes provides you the ability to put rifle fire in all directions. This is the second floor, probably the most defensible floor. If someone breaches the bottom floor, they have to come up that ladder and you'd be firing down that ladder in an attempt to keep them out from getting up here. But we've got one more floor to go. All right, we're now on the top floor of the Torreon, the last and final defensive position. You'd have the rest of your men or fighters or women for that matter, if the need be, standing up here defending themselves. And you can see that there are rifle firing ports here as well. Over here as well. I mean, imagine here, this is fairly defensible and you've got a really good arc of fire. Getting fire in here to hit the person with the rifle would be quite hard, but being able to fire downward to these positions makes this a very defensible space. Guys, if you like, to, if you like this kind of content, please consider supporting us on Patreon. It's you, the viewer, that keeps this channel alive. It's only your money that allows us to come to places like this to film from a very historic site like this 1850s Torreon. If we can't understand, please just subscribe and share with your friends and thank you for watching.